Hi everyone, in this tutorial on tricky integrals and tricky substitutions, we're going to work through the exercise that we have here. We're told, using the substitution t, which equals to tan of x, to find the integral that we see here. That is, the integral of 1 over 1 plus sine squared of x. Now the first thing we need to do here is rewrite this integral in terms of the new variable t. And what makes that tricky is the fact that we have a sine squared of x on the denominator. Luckily for us, we can use right angle trigonometry to make the link between this sine squared of x and this tan of x. And here's how. Consider a right angle triangle, like the one I'm drawing now. So we have a right angle here, and we'll go ahead and call this interior angle x. Now, if I call the side length which is opposite to x t, as well as the side that's adjacent to x 1, then we can see quite clearly that in this right angle triangle, tan of this interior angle x is equal to t over 1, which is just t, which matches our change of variable here, t, which equals to tan of x. Now the idea is, using this same right angle triangle, we can come up with an expression for sine of x, and therefore for sine squared of x. But for that, we're going to need the hypotenuse. And using Pythagoras' theorem, it doesn't take us long to state that this hypotenuse will equal to the square root of 1 squared plus t squared. In other words, I can add to my right angle triangle here, the value of the hypotenuse is the square root of 1 plus t squared. Now that that's done, we can find an expression for sine of x. Now since sine of x is equal to the opposite side length over the hypotenuse, that will equal to t over the square root of 1 plus t squared. So let's go ahead and write that. Sine of x is equal to t over the square root of 1 plus t squared. Finally, now that that's done, we can go ahead and state that sine squared of x is equal to t squared over 1 plus t squared. And now that we have an expression for sine squared of x in terms of t, we'll be able to rewrite the denominator inside our integral in terms of t. Finally, we need to rewrite this dx in terms of t, and for that I focus on the fact that t is equal to tan of x, and therefore dt dx, the derivative in terms of x, is equal to either second squared of x, which is also equal to 1 plus tan squared of x. Now at this stage we need to choose which of these two expressions to use. Well, keeping in mind our objective was to rewrite this dx in terms of t, as well as the fact that t is equal to tan of x, this second expression, 1 plus tan squared of x, can be written in terms of t as 1 plus t squared. And using that result we can therefore state that dt dx is equal to 1 plus t squared, and therefore dx is equal to 1 over 1 plus t squared dt. And we've now rewritten dx in terms of t. So using these two results, we're now in a position to rewrite our integral in terms of t. And so let's see, our integral was the integral of 1 over 1 plus sine squared of x, and that's equal to the integral of 1 over 1 plus the expression we found for sine squared of x, which was t squared over 1 plus t squared, and we replace the dx by the expression we found for dx here. So that's 1 over 1 plus t squared dt. We now rewrite everything we have on the denominator here over 1 plus t squared, so that becomes the integral of 1 over 1 plus t squared plus t squared, all of which is written over 1 plus t squared, times 1 over 1 plus t squared dt. And that's equal to the integral of 1 plus t squared over 1 plus t squared plus t squared. So that's 1 plus 2t squared, and that multiplies 1 over 1 plus t squared dt. Now the numerator and the denominator cancel each other out, leaving us with the integral of 1 over 1 plus 2t squared dt. And at this stage you can probably recognize that we're dealing with one of our standard integrals. 
Indeed, here we're dealing with arc 10, and using either of the two equivalent formula that we see at the bottom of the screen here, we can go ahead and state that this is equal to 1 over the square root of 2 times arc 10 or inverse 10 of the square root of 2 times t. And of course we add a constant of integration here. Finally, we rewrite this result in terms of x. Remember, the substitution we made was t equals to tan of x, so replacing t by tan of x, this is equal to 1 over the square root of 2 times inverse 10, or arc 10, of the square root of 2 times 10 of x. And that's the final answer. And that's how to integrate 1 over 1 plus sine squared of x, using the substitution t equals to 10 of x. And I'll go ahead and box that final line. There we go. Now I should point out that the substitution t equals to 10 of x will work in a similar way to what we've just seen here as soon as we're faced with an integral that looks like the one we have here. And there we have it. That's it for this tutorial on tricky integrals and tricky substitutions.